Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Win at the Horses. Joe Kelly and Bill Kelly with you. And a beautiful summer day here just outside Saratoga Springs. How, how's it in Vegas? we got to get the update. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot, yeah. Every, I mean, I get a notice of alert just a minute ago. It's going to rain heavily, right? Rain heavily. Yeah. <laughs> now, five minutes later, it's mostly sunny. It didn't rain at all. <laughs> yeah. It's it's cooled down. It's only a hundred. Right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So so uh, we've got some pretty good races th this weekend. We're gonna mix in Colonial Downs, uh, which uh, got to give shout out to Jason Beam calling the shots out there for the races. And it's tough to compete with Del Mar and Saratoga, but Saturday I, I think they'll have a good chance of uh, bringing in some horse horse race fans. What what do you think about that? Yeah, I, well, I, I, I'm not sh quite sure why Churchill, uh, who bought the, the, you know, the track, why they felt it necessary to go up against uh, Saratoga and Delmar. I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, most most gamblers know nothing about Colonial. Yeah, I mean. It, 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 when they used to run on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they were, you know, I mean, their competition was Parks or somebody, you know, or mm -hmm. Delaware. But they, you know, I'm not quite sure they're going to be very successful doing this one. Yeah, Although I guess Brown we'll have did, to see it. Brown's got no runners. He's got no runners in the, at Saratoga. More. He's got runners at Colonial, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he wanted to ship them out there. See, see, uh, he's got some good he's ones. He's had quite a day. He's got, yeah, right. Yeah. He had the, he won four today already. So, and he had he's, two. Uh, uh, he's jumped ahead of Fletcher. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, uh, he's four ahead of. Uh, Linda Rice now, so. Yep. It, uh, yeah, he's, he's got a. Uh, he's been winning on dirt, not just turf. Yeah, he's been out there, uh, you know, doing pretty good. Wait, I mean, they've been out there all spring getting yeah. ready for the track. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. I got a new co host. And you can still us. get some. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. she'd be better picker than us. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> so, so yeah. Hey, why don't we get it? Uh, we'll we'll dive into yeah, some of this. Uh, yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah. So we we've got the uh, Secretariat Stakes Colonial Downs, the eighth race uh, going on. Um, you know, Chad Brown definitely involved in that one. And a lot of the jockeys, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what's the time frame as far as it going on? What's the time frame? I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah, I as far as uh, what's the time you know, frame? The race is going off over there. Uh, there, well, this race, the eighth race that we're talking about, a colonial is uh, two two fourteen. That's our time, so it's five fourteen your time. Right. So it's it's, uh, it's uh, in between the seventh and eighth race at Saratoga. Going to get some helicopters to take the jockeys out there. Get the big, get, but those guys, most of them aren't running it. I mean, that they're not riding at Saratoga. You know, mm -hmm. Pratt. Who right. else? Who else is in that race? Uh, you got Florent Giroux, uh, Ca Castellano's making the trip, Johnny Velasquez, Gaffleone. Yeah, so you got, you got a lot not of them. riding. I don't, yeah, I don't think they're riding at uh, at uh, Saratoga. Right. So, so the eighth I mean, race at Colonial. Tomorrow, both both brothers. 
Yeah, both brothers are back tomorrow. Okay. The Ortiz brothers are back riding yeah. tomorrow. So figure from their suspension. Figure what they got eleven races, so I rat will win eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good shot at that, yeah. <laughs> so so this and race a uh, couple the... of couple of those rookies over the fence. Yeah. He's primed. Yeah, this uh, this eighth race, uh, it's a mile on the inner turf over there, Colonial Downs. I I kind of looked at Charlie Appleby. I'm I'm really not excited about making a a big uh, score on this one, but uh, Silver not the number one, uh, Nagarok the number three. Not too much of a price. Uh, how, how do you see this race going on? And there you got it. That, I mean. The, the speed is going to be the four and the two. And the, the closer is going to be uh, the seven. So, I mean, it looks to me like the, the, the three, which was supposed to be running it in Saratoga, and the race got pulled off last, last Saturday or Sunday. Maybe it was one right. of those turf races that and uh, so he was shipped down from Saratoga to uh, Colonial Downs. So uh, Nagarat. Yeah, Nagarat. Uh, for uh, for uh, Grand Motion. Right. So you know, he. I would say you know he's he's run uh, he's in the money. I mean, if you bet him across the board, I, 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 the price is not conducive to that. But he, he's run, he's hit the board eight out of eight in his career. Yeah. So uh, the other horse to, to uh, that I thought was a candidate was the one, which is Silver Knot, and that horse is uh, an Appleby horse. Mm -hmm. Oh, Appleby has been very cold. His horse today, yeah, he, was he very unruly. Yeah, right. Yeah, the number four. Yeah. So, I I don't think he he's uh you know, I mean class wise he's certain figures. So right. I, I had it an exact of one three with the. Five seven eight. Underneath. Okay. Right. So keeping it simple on that race. Um, moving on to the number ninth, the ninth race, which is uh, the Beverly D Stakes, mile and three sixteenth, a Grade One, five hundred thousand. So a lot of money in the purse, and um, mm -hmm. definitely, this, definitely. This race has got. The... Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead. No, I was going to say it's going to have some real pace to mm -hmm. it because uh, you got about uh, five horses that 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 want to be you know on or near the lead, right? And uh, it's interesting. Uh, I looked up the figures of Colonial out of fifteen races at this distance. Six favorites have won, hmm. so you got to you got to take a long look at the favorite. What do you um, what do you see in the number seven Rocky Sky coming off pretty sizable layoff? Um, I thought it had a good shot at, if ready, but how do you look at Rocky yeah, Sky? Well, yeah, I, I I mean he he is uh, he's he should be able to take advantage of a pace meltdown right he'll be coming from off the pace and 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 he looks like uh, the other horse in there that uh, everybody's talking about is the five Dita. right oh yeah so so i i would say that uh uh the uh, the seven and the five 
should be uh, you know interested place to to look at. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, what who, who's this? I didn't really research this one, huh? and this is Castellanos going down the right. I know Mark Cassie, of course. Right. Yep. Uh, it's interesting. Mark Cassie at Saratoga has been ordinary for him, but he's uh, he's got five for sixteen at Colonial, thirty-one percent. So uh, I take a look yeah. at that one. Uh, who who probably get a jump on both the seven and the five. Yeah, he's It'll got some early one, luck. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, it uh, you might want to key the one, you know, first and mm -hmm. second with the five and seven. See if that'll that'll pay. I, I I have no idea about the the prices, you know. So the big I race over there, yeah. yeah, Colonial. Um, I haven't been following ten... Colonial at all. I don't know. Yeah, the tenth race at Colonial, uh, a million dollar stakes race, the Arlington Million, moving from uh, out in Chicago, Ar Arlington. I guess it's going to have its permanent home at, at Colonial. Um, I do have a horse here, the number three set piece, Brad Cox, who I, I think has the best closing uh, kick here. But, uh, you know, I don't know if the horse, the horse is a seven year old and I don't know if he's slowing down or, or what, but. Uh, oh, I think he's one of the favorites. Right? Yeah. Six to one on the morning line, mm -hmm. working pretty solid. Um, what are your thoughts on this race? I think it's pretty wide open. It is. The horse that uh, I, I've been uh, kind of looking at is the eight, Catnip. Okay. Which is eight to one on the morning line. And that uh, is a Michael Stidden horse. It's going to be run by, ridden by uh, uh, Hernandez, right, Hernandez Jr., yeah. the... Uh, Brian Hernandez, yeah, I couldn't think of his first name. And he's got actually got a win at Colonial. Okay. So, uh, and I would, do, I think you're on the right right path with the three. So uh, you might want to box the three and the eight. Um, yeah, I, I like your eight a little more now as I'm looking deeper. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm seeing. I'm, I I see something that that here. I, I'm seeing something I really like in the last race. Uh, giving up the had the lead right in the stretch and gave it up and finished second and coming back within 30 days. So, who do you who do you finish second to? Uh, hang on. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have. I don't have the running. I got it here somewhere. Where's Colonial? Oh, here we go. Tenth race, number eight. It was a uh, oh, therapist. Good okay. horse. I mean, you know, yeah, it wasn't right. he was run down by a. You know, and uh, although he, it's funny, Catnip was the favorite, mm -hmm. and he got beat by therapist. Uh, and he in the the race before at Monmouth, he ran. Uh, he was a half length better than uh, Never Explain, which is also in this race. The uh, two. Right. You have to. You have to be. be and so you have to be careful with these Mamas horses because it's such speed favoring that, that track. I don't know yeah. about calling it. Let, let me take a peek. Let me take a peek at the uh, at, uh, the uh, 
I was going to take a peek at the track profile. And Colonials run a lot of races at this distance. This mm -hmm. is no. This is, excuse me. This the distance I pulled up here is five and a half. That's not right. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw a lot of winners coming yeah, so coming from the clouds. Yeah. They did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in some of the wow. races. Yeah. The best, the best, uh, the best closer in that race is the three. Right. Set a piece of your horse. Yeah, that's that's probably why I lean towards that one. Jeez. But yeah. So so how how have you been doing at uh how, how have you been doing at Del Mar this this summer? I haven't played a race. Uh, oh really? Okay. I have not. Uh, uh, I don't know. The the Mets are on usually about the time they run. So oh, yeah, I, they're going to make a comeback. <laughs> I, really, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm just not. I've been to that track by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I went with your brother Kevin. And oh, really? And yeah. It's funny. It's it's got the ocean in the background. There's no question. It's a, it's an interesting. But it's very it's small by comparison to Belmont or San Anita. It's very small. Oh yeah, right. And very compact. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, you're you're sitting elbow to elbow with, wow. with everybody. So. Uh, and we were we were early in the, this was a number of years ago, but uh, it was funny because I, we got there early, got you know, got in the uh, box seat and we had our own seats. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of like sitting at a baseball stadium; all the seats are together, different than oh, okay, than, yeah, say Santa Anita, where right. Santa Anita you have. Your table, you get your TV, and Del Mar, you just got a seat. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> wow. Sitting, sitting next to us in this day were a group of people that came from Vegas. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So, so. Yeah. All right. Maybe, maybe you'll make yeah. a comeback and watch the last couple of weeks over there. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched. I haven't done. So we, we've I got a, a stakes the other race. Thing that... I noticed, yeah. No, go ahead. No, I said I, 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 I've been listening to people who know about biases there, and there seems to be, you know, one week it's you can't be on the rail, the next week you can't, you know. The rail is winning, or you know, it seems to be a very uh, uh, the rumor. I mean, the rumor. The, I used to hear that uh, the tie has a lot to do with the way the track plays. They used to yeah. say that about was it Aqueduct or Belmont? One of them had had. Uh, has a body of water around it, so. I think aqueduct. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. So yeah. in the old days, that's what the, the degenerate slug. <laughs> that was their excuse. So we've got in the sixth race, not a lot of, uh, past performances to go on a lot of the horses just one race and they're in this the sorrento stakes the six race it's a six furlong sprint um i saw the number one feisty matoli and um I'm trying to think of, i had another horse lined up in there feisty matoli the number one and for a real long shot this this is this this one's gonna have to make some improvement, but uh, the number five Kathera Ryan Hansen training. So I I think this is a, a wide open race. Um, how how do you see this? The problem with that five. The problem with the five is you're talking about 
Van Dyke has almost been zero for the for the year. Oh wow! You know? Wow, what happened to him? Uh, I mean, he's a three percent. I, I don't know what you know. He had a, he had a little substance abuse problem there. Oh okay. Oh, I didn't know. Ago. Right. But he he's a three percent rider this year. I mean, he's much yeah. better than that, and he has a he's over twenty one at Del Mar. Uh, I had it a uh, box of, of the two and three. Okay. But uh, that and that token will get you a ride on the New York subway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that uh, it'll be it'll be pretty interesting. That one. We've also got uh, another stakes race over at Santa Anita. Uh, excuse me, over at uh, Del Mar. Which is going to be on the uh, the turf, the ninth race, an eight and eight and a half grade two race for the Phillies, and uh, my pick in this race. Actually, I had two um, for this particular race: uh, the number three Spirit and Glory, and also the number five Lucky Girl, Phil D'Amato mm -hmm. and Joe Bravo. And uh, did I steal anybody Stop of right your horses? <laughs> That's Come on. The model wins out all, all the grass race. He's the brown on the West Coast. Yeah, I know, especially the the sprints. The uh, is he? Uh, hang on, just a second. Let me just look at the pull up Del Mar. Here. Yeah, he only has the one. Oh, he's got two in the race. Okay. So the other one that I, I, I thought that I had uh, interest in was the seven. Uh, Awake at Midnight. Okay. Or O'Neill. Uh, basically, is stretching out. And as uh, Breeden says he can, mm -hmm. uh, he's also, I mean, he's run against some decent horses on dirt. And he, his last out was the first time on turf. And he, he ran decently, then second a, a length off. So that's the one that uh, probably get a bit, little better price. And Doug O'Neill, he he uh, he he does a lot of, of uh, unorthodox moves and hits hits a lot of stuff that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the number so the number I, I, uh, the number seven is uh, your possible value play, right? A week at midnight. Yeah, I th I think it's a. Uh, you know, it's the price. I would, I would demand the price like nine to one on the horse. But this is his third start. He's kind of a an early runner, and uh, as I said, he ran one. Well, he's run twice on turf. His other turf race doesn't show up, but he's finished second in both of them. So at least he's a candidate on any. Let's uh, move on to Saratoga, which uh, I think they'll be running on the grass for the the entire card um, tomorrow. The uh, the seventh race. Look out the, the window, away. see if it's raining. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got I got sun coming in right now, but who knows? You, you really it, it changes a lot uh, during the summer here. Yeah. Hey, wh why did that tree fall down the other day? Knock the power out. Uh, yeah, I didn't hear you know, anything. I mean, yeah. It, I, I, mean, I didn't follow up on the it story. Wasn't a I, I wasn't. Did a car hit? A car hit or what? I'd, I'd have to look it up on, Probably you know, a disgruntled, the, a disgruntled gambler. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them there. <laughs> yeah. So that, you know, they, they've, they've had a bad 
weaker two weeks in, in some respects, but I, I think it'll end on a good note. Hope so. Yeah. Hope so. So this seventh race, the Galway Stakes three-year-old fillies, um, five and a half on on the turf a turf sprint. I, I've been having good success. Well, also at Del Mar, I hit a, a five furlong turf winner last night with the early speed. I do have a real long shot in this one, the number one dream concert, Kathleen O'Connell, blinkers on with Alvarado, who doesn't really push, his, push the horse uh, in the early going, but uh, we'll, we'll see about this one. And the number nine, um, Stone Silent on the outside, well, second to last outside, um, Steve Asmussen coming out of Indiana. So those were my my takes in this, the one and the nine. How, how about you, Dad? Uh, I, I I like both of those. Those are good. I, uh, the uh, what was the other one I saw? I mean, this is a wide open race. Right. It's a race you don't want to take a short short price on. So mm -hmm. I mean there. The, the other horse, did you mention the five? No, no. You, I didn't. Phil Bauer, you know. Oh, okay. He, he, last year he was really hot. Uh, he's he's won a couple races recently, so he's about uh, at uh, – he's running about 15% at Saratoga. And Dylan right. Davis has been riding very well. So Yeah, yeah. I – I, you know, the uh, the uh, this is uh, the other one that you might want to take a peek at, and this is going to have Jose on. Is the number six redefined? Okay, Michelle Lovell, right, taking over. I, I don't have any Believe background on her. Jose and uh, on who? Oh no. Yeah. Well, Jose. it's the first horse she's run there. Yeah, right. She's so not yeah, the trainer. The trainer. This is in the, this this horse was previously trained by Anthony Dutro. Mm -hmm. Now maybe maybe this was. I was going to say. Uh, well, she's had 76 runners and only four winners this year. I was going to say maybe she was uh, Dutch Rose's uh, assistant. Using an assistant, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I don't know her either. But she has been. It definitely at, looks. Uh, yeah. Belmont. Yeah. Had to, had to bring this one in here. Ah, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> she was bugging me from below, so. She's a horse lover, I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, that is the seventh. We're going to proceed to the eighth race at Saratoga. And we've got uh, some young horses in this one. The Herb Molis Memorial Saratoga Special Stakes. Uh, you you go way back with Herbie, right? With the Herb Molis Stakes. Herb, Herb Molis. I don't know. I, 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 I got to do some research on it. Yeah. It's really yeah. the it's a Saratoga Special, right? Is that what they call it? Yeah, Saratoga Special, yeah. So it's uh, yeah. two year olds. You know, looks like I, uh, the horse that, uh, that, yeah, the horse I liked until I saw the price was the six. Okay. But so I, I, in taking a look at the prices, I thought the, the four and the five over the six might be a play. Yeah, I I like the two inside horses for for prices, um, but yeah, I mean the six definitely looks like a, a solid favorite off the. They don't look fast history. enough. They don't look yeah. fast enough, Joe. Right. Yeah. 
But, because, I mean, you talk about you know a six horse field at this point not very uh, uh not very uh appetizing you yeah. know yeah yeah so uh, i don't think you're gonna no, no matter who wins you're not gonna make much money on unless you can beat the six whose morning line is four to five right so well, let's let's uh, talk about the last last stake of the the day at Saratoga, which is the uh, ninth race, and uh, Casa Grande is going to be. Uh, I don't know. Is Casa Grande the favorite in this one? Yeah. Oh uh, no. Annapolis. Morning line favorite Grande. is yeah the, the the six six and, and Annapolis are one is seven to five, one is eight to five. Interesting right. race. Uh, yeah. Everybody is, is all over those two. Uh, I don't I don't know whether you remember uh, seeing uh, the, the, the the race they ran. What, what, where did they run? I I remember the race. Uh, the uh, I don't recall the Kelso? where it was. Where, where was it? Yeah, the, 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 the was it at Belmont? Yeah, they, they faced off a few times. Yeah, the last one was at Belmont, and both both horses, believe it or not, are. Uh, I'm sorry, but the, both the, it was at Saratoga, the mm -hmm. Kelso, right. and uh, in all honesty, I think Casa Creed, Saez outrode A Rod, all right that day, because mm -hmm. they're both kind of closers, or you know, and I think. And that was, should have been ahead of Casa Creed, but he never got ahead. In other words, Casa Creed was outside of him, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, Annapolis came from the, the, the two posts, and uh, Casa Creed was six, and Saez just beat him. When they got to the uh, the back stretch. He pulled in front. They were running together, and then he pulled in front, and he uh, and uh, the uh, Annapolis just never could uh, pull him back. He just he followed them all the way to the line. Uh, but they both are, are horses for course. I mean, Cassie Creed is. Five for five in the money at, at Saratoga, and uh, Annapolis is three for th three for three in the exacto. So the other horse to look at is Emmanuel, and uh, the uh, for who's that? Pletcher? Yeah. For, for yeah, Pletcher. Pletcher has that one. Yep. Yeah. Both of them. Plus, see, this is where you, you look at a race like this now. Uh, is this horse, you know, is this horse, Emmanuel's got speed. Is he going to go, is he in there to, to make, ensure the pace? Not right. that he's a, I don't mean he's a rabbit, but, but, uh, the, the looking at the past history, the horse that, and I'm not sure he's fast in it, is the three, my college, my C college. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, the, uh, I had it for four, six over the one seven. 
Yeah, I I was gonna go for ice chocolate, the number seven. What do you think of uh, ice chocolate, number seven? I, my problem with him is uh, is uh, well, I guess if he both, you know, he ran a pretty, pretty fast race three back on synthetic. And uh, that would be competitive here. Actually, it would be more than competitive. But but he seems to be seems to be more of a sprinter than a mile. More comfortable. And mm -hmm. after I got beat on a horse today by uh, Rosario. Made a terrible ride. And oh yeah, that that so was. He's, uh, he's yeah. not on my favorites list. <laughs> well, he he's recovering. His mouth is banged up from the fall. Yeah, well, we need yeah. one more ride like that for me, and he'll have, he'll need more stitches. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Victor, you know it's funny. I mean, he he's got a reputation of pulling the horse down, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, coming from behind, and his uh, he, uh, but today you look at that race. He he just couldn't make a decision. He didn't know where he was going, inside, outside. I mean, the horse ended up last because he yeah just couldn't make a decision. So we'll, so we'll he's see. not we'll on see. my favorite list. No, no, no. <laughs> he's got to. He's got to show you more. <laughs> yeah, I. You know, I think I, I saw. I mean, uh, I know. I. I think when I was walking into the track, driving by me in a car, the traffic was held up. Jose Santos was was uh, oh, yeah. driving. He's there. Yeah, he's there for the. Uh, yeah. For the uh, sales. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. he's, I mean, he's, he's, you know, the guy, have you ever watched Past the Wire, uh, John Sutton? I think so, yeah. His yeah. podcast today, he had, uh, he had uh, Jose Santos and uh, Roberto Arroyo and Nelson Arroyo. Oh, okay. So, yeah. You you didn't send uh, you didn't send any bids in for the the sales. No, I'm holding my money <laughs> for Keeneland. <laughs> You're right. Just yeah. For the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're the hard of, uh... horse seller, not me. <laughs> You know, you know, there was a horse today, uh, provocateur. I don't know. It was in uh, maybe the sixth race today. I was a small time owner of that horse, uh, maybe a year ago, and then they sold the horse. <coughs> yeah. So yeah. So you made millions. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. That's why I'm in this studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i i did uh oh i i think i told you micro share a little little piece but yeah but you know it's you're you're with the my horse group right yeah my race horse yeah so and they bet down the horses all the time so but yeah it, it's a little fun yeah i'm sure yeah. Or no, it's great. Do you you get the, if they win, you get down to the uh, winner circle with the other hundred uh, other sheep. I think I think I could, but I ha I haven't yet. I think I could for micro share and. Uh, a I've couple been looking. Of you. Yeah, that's right. I've been looking for you. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got a top Howard and uh, Matt Miller and those guys. Yeah, they they they're with the Delphi, I think. They've That's right, Paul. Okay. Paul Halloran, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. Yeah. 
they were they it's good to handicap her. yeah yeah it was good good trip good trip for them yeah so what's going on the the rest of the weekend any plans i'm right here are you gonna shut it down yeah yeah so we'll see you next week the alabama stakes coming up at saratoga and uh this has been win at the horses my dad bill kelly Thanks to join us as as always. All right. Enjoy it. Really good.